again, Rebecca here, doing a live intro, because I'm home alone. <laughs> Not like the movie. That Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so tomorrow is Saturday, so I'm going to get my um, take a sketch slash collection series, and we're going to create it, because it, it has to be posted tomorrow, and that is the 19th of September, so I've got, what, two more layouts? I believe there's only two more Saturdays. I uh, had to go into the office this week, so I took my calendar, and I have not put it back up. So, this, once again, is the sketch that we are using for September 2020, and it is from July 2020 of Page Maps. I'm going to be using this punch. This is the collection. It is... That's in the way. I am so sorry. Oh, Lord. It's the photo play, squeeze in some fun collection. Really digging it. Put it over there. I'm going to go ahead and probably use three these three palm trees right here because I have an idea. I'm going to use the green twine. Here's some of the embellishments that I pulled out of that kit I have over there. Um, some yellow crosses, but I'm going to use them as plus signs. Some little puffy owls. A green owl. Mostly because it was from the, these, this, the two owls, and this are from the product focus bin over there. So I did pull some of them in. It's a little construction worker set. This was in product focus bin. I'm really just doing it for this. This was all I had left of my uh, brushed collection from close to my heart. These two things from the die cut set that came along with this. And this little washi tape strip. Trying to kill that one off, right? Here's the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, the great thing about this sketch is it doesn't call for a lot of embellishing. So, you know, probably not going to get a lot of these used because these are a lot of like beachy vacation theme. So, it's alright though. I have other things I can use it for. I did pull in this time the green glitter foam tape. Uh, once again, the green corrugated board. Here's the pictures that I'm going to scrap. We've got, that's my son, and he is mulching the new landscape, so hence all the green. Um, I did pull this 12 by 12 sheet in, not for this side, just if there's any of these little cut aparts that I wanna use. Not real sure on that. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do with these two little scraps and get them used up. I do have this sheet, and this scrap, and this scrap, and this is going to be my um, base. So, that is everything that I'm going to use. I have a plan. I have all the stuff. Now I just got to get it done. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the layout and record it, and then I'll, I'll fast forward all that, because Lord only knows how long this is going to take, and people are going to start rolling in at any time. So, uh, stay tuned, and I... Do you want to put it out there that if anyone would like to join this Saturday fun, just let me know. Leave a comment below and just, you know, leave your YouTube video, post it, and we'll have a little fun hop every Saturday. So let me know. And I'll be right back creating. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my trimmer. And as this is going to be my background paper, I'm going to trim off the branding strip, border strip, whatever you want to call that thing. Now I'm going to get my pictures out, and I do not use my Fiskars trimmer. I use my Creative Memory Skeleton, and right here I'm going to go ahead and make them 4x4s. I'm just trying to figure out how I want this picture to be. Now I was sitting down on the porch while he was doing this, so the host for the awning porch type thing. So basically I'm just going to pull that back out and cut that post off right there. And I am going to layer the pictures on top of each other at just a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to pull out this yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and put quite a bit of adhesive on that just to get that on there. Now I do put it, um, it's got some wonky edges. I had been using my scissors. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and use the one straight edge that I know, line it up, and we're going to go ahead and get them all straight right across there. That is going to be my first border. 
And I'm gonna take that fun, limey, greeny um, glitter foam, and I'm gonna make that my second border. I am just trying to use that stuff up, guys. The glitter falls off. It's been in my stash for quite some time, so it's time to just, it's time to just get her used up. So I was measuring how long that was because that is going to be bigger than this strip here. And it's supposed to be a, if you've seen that sketch, it's a 12 by 12 strip. However, I did not want to cut into a 12 by 12 piece of paper just to get this. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do our fancy little hidden trick. Where we're going to, that's where my gap is going to go, somewhere right in there. Like so. And so I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side. I'm going to line up my background paper on some on my grid line just to where I can without having to grab out my two square T square ruler just so that it flows across the page and I'm gonna look and see one two three one two three and we're gonna put it right there and there you go there's my 12 by 12 strip I'm gonna go ahead and put my ATG adhesive on this and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fine liner with the art glitter glue in it and I'm gonna get that stuck on there because it is glitter it is not it comes off so the ATG is going to help it to stay temporarily so I can maneuver around but the liquid glue is obviously going to be the permanent hold once it dries so I'm gonna let that I did let that sit for just a minute before I went ahead and grabbed my scissors and just trimmed off a very small border around if you can hear that whining in the background it is my dog because we have baby bunnies in the yard their names are juju and pd yes i name all the wildlife and she wants to go visit them and she can't so anyway she's being a brat so i'm gonna go ahead and take this lime green corrugated paper and yeah i'm gonna try that it doesn't work it doesn't work at all so i'm gonna make some weird funky cuts on this because i really honestly have no idea what i was doing because I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with the corrugated paper, but just like that glitter foam, it has been in my stash and it's from the dollar store. And I don't even know if you can get this at the dollar store anymore. So yeah, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and make a tag out of this one with my tag punch. This sketch calls for two tags. I was thinking I was going to use those two little pieces for something. Guess what? Did not. They went back into the kit. I will make sure I get them used on the next layout or they will find a recycling bin. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little scrap right there. That's going to serve as my second tag. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my green baker's twine. Green is my son's favorite color. While that was a really loud truck, I do apologize for that. I'm sitting outside and enjoying the nice cooler weather so i'm just gonna go ahead and i double it i doubled it and then i strung it through and i'm gonna do that on both of them see one there's one and two yeah that took a minute i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing i trim it off just a bit and now i'm gonna go ahead and move some of that stuff out the way and trim off that branding strip it's clear we don't want that on there and then i'm just going to get that stuck right there and we're going to go ahead and put the other tag on on the other side going down like so i'm going to stick a lot of atg on the foam tape now the sketch calls for quite a few of those little die cut pieces and I am only going to do three. Let's change it up a bit. So I'm going to use these palm trees. I know that they're, it's not a summer layout here, but it's not a vacation at the beach type layout. But he is working in the, um, the garden, the landscaping. So I was, you know, foliage, right? So I'm going to punch three of those, and I'm going to use that orange side just to pull some of the orange from that one background paper. Now I've grabbed my three palm trees, and they do have some foam tape on the back of them, so I'm just peeling that right off. 
I don't want that to much dimension. And I'm gonna stick that right there first. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim a bit of it off just so that it, you know, it fits nicely right there. The other ones I'm gonna fuss around with just a minute, little bit. And I did lose that second one if you saw that. So I'm gonna run it off the page. You guys know how I like to run things off the page just to ground the layout. And I'm gonna stick this other one just a smidge underneath the photo mat. And I'm gonna take those palm trees and get some dry adhesive on that. And I'm gonna stick those on top of each one of those little die cuts. And then I realized that I have two greeds at a wood wood, so I would have put the two greeds on the outside. Now I had to pull that one over just a little bit, otherwise it would have ran off the page too much. It did just a smidge and I was able to pop that off with the scissors. It does take me just a bit to get it. You gotta cut a little harder, but I get it. And get all those little nasty pieces gone. Now I'm gonna come back in with uh, this little piece right here that was, that I, you've seen in the beginning that I pulled from my stash bin. We got this little green washi strip and that little border strip that was left. So I'm gonna layer those two right up there and I'm gonna take this owl and I put him right there on that tag and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the layout. I just thought it needed something at the top of the layout up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop up this cute little die cut on some foam. And peel off the release from the little pop dot thingies there. I think they're called dimensionals. Not real sure what the correct terminology is for that. But I'm going to go ahead and stick that right up there in the green cluster. A lot of green going on up there. I am going to take this other die cut that I pulled from the die cut pack that comes with it. And I'm just looking for places to put it. Where do I want it? I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go on the picture there. And then I tuck it nicely right there. And then I'm going to grab these little bitty foam owls that I've been trying to use up. And I pulled the pink one and then I was like, I don't want pink on his layout. So I grabbed an orange one and a blue one, another orange one. And I get just four of them nicely on there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little, that is uh, one of those construction pieces. And I, it's just kind of a joke because he was, you know, moving earth. <laughs> So I grabbed some backhoes and trackhoes and just stuck one in each of the little clusters. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my yellow crosses. And I'm gonna stick one of those in each of the little clusters. And we are almost done with this layout. Uh, I'm gonna grab the sticker sheet and I'm gonna pull off these little celebration like ribbons. And we're going to put one on the owl. One is going to go at that top layout up there. And then the other one is going to go right here. We're going to get the other one right up there on the top. And just kind of let it sit there. I am going to um, go ahead and glue these down. Otherwise, they would get kind of destroyed in the page protector when I put it in there so I'm just kind of like making them all messy like and then I'm thinking okay I'm done I like it we're good and then I forget that I don't have a title on the page so I am going to go ahead and pull over that uh, cut apart sheet see right there I was thinking I was done and I was thinking about can I use any of these and I'm looking at that piece love summer and I just couldn't figure out a way that I wanted to use it so I do turn to my left reach in and grab my um, I believe it's the Schmel collection and it's gonna say the cool kid I'm gonna go ahead and use that and that's gonna serve as my title and that's gonna go right up there and then I'm gonna put three little of those epoxy enamel looking blue sprinkles around the page and that's gonna be it so give me a thumbs up if you like the layout click that subscribe button below and if you want to join me next Saturday and create a sketched layout just leave a comment below I would be more than happy to have you so I will see you guys next time bye